I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R540 server. In this video we're going to specifically focus on network cards. Let's get going. Well hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R540 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, let's hop in. Uh, this video is focused on network cards. So what we're going to do as a whole is we're going to talk about the uh, different types of uh, compatible network cards, uh, the different speeds that are compatible, then we're actually going to install one for you, and then at the end we'll put up a list that shows a bunch of uh, different compatible cards. It is not all encompassing, and if you find something that we don't have listed, uh, do us a favor, drop a comment down below. Uh, the users are always trying to figure out uh, you know, what will work, so uh, anything additional is always great information for people. So then when they stumble upon this video, they can uh, you know just find out more information, right? So, all right, so let's hop in. Uh, so, what are the different types? You're going to have your standard uh, RJ45, which is essentially Ethernet. You're going to have uh, SFP, SFP Plus, QSFP, uh, SFP28, uh, QSFP56. Uh, uh, those are all your different types. Uh, so, as far as the speeds, you have one gigabit, eight. 10, 16, 25, 32, 40, and all the way up to 100. Yes, there are a bunch of speeds uh, overall. Uh, most of what we have on our website is going to be 1, 10, and uh, 25. But of course, again, if there's anything that you want that we don't have listed, uh, we customize. That's what we do. Just contact sales, email us at sales at cloudinjures.com or feel free to call us. Yes, we actually answer the phone at this day and age. I know how crazy, right? Uh, so feel free, feel free to give us a ring. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install one of our cards and then show you just how easy that really is to do. Uh, before I do though, I'm going to grab my ESD gear because it's always uh, best to, to uh, use safe practices. And of course, we don't want to damage the machine and we want to keep it safe. So I'll be right back. All right, so I have my ESD gear on. We are safe to get inside the machine. So I've laid out two options, but as I mentioned, there are a ton of different options for uh, network cards as a whole. Uh, we'll put up a list at the end, but uh, these are two that we commonly build with. They're both dual port, 10 gigabit. This is gonna be RJ45. This is gonna be your SFP Plus. So we'll toss them to the side for now. So we're going to pop our latch and lift our top. And now we are inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the, uh, the card right here. You could technically put it here as well, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it in the riser. So we're gonna pull our riser out and install it right here. So uh, we're going to need to make sure we pull out our old bracket. So you're just going to simply remove the blue or pull the blue back, I should say. And then we're gonna remove the bracket. I always recommend saving the brackets because you never know when you can use them again. I'm gonna put in the RJ45 today. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, spin this around and we wanna make sure the tip right here is perfectly lined, so we're gonna go ahead and come straight down. Uh, and the other thing I wanna note, right here, there is a, a black piece uh, that the card itself, the uh, actual PCB board, will slide in there, and then you have the two connectors. So technically there's four different points that you kinda need to line up here. So I'm gonna start with the top with the PCB, and then we're gonna slide this down. And then you'll see we've got uh, the two connectors, hopefully the video can show that angle right there with the two connector pieces in, the black pieces in, and then the uh, point back here for the tip of the bracket is in. And then now I'm just going to actually physically push it in. You'll hear it click into place. And now we're going to lock this in by putting the blue back down. And you will see the riser is firmly in. And again, you have the uh, black piece that you need to slide the PCB in. You have the two connectors for the actual uh, PCIe slot and then the tip of the bracket. And between those four, you will securely install your card. So now what we're gonna do is just reinstall the riser. And that's really simple. We've done that in about uh, four or five of the videos already. So now we're gonna come back in here, align everything up and just put our riser in and you'll feel it come down and it's nice and flush. Honestly, it's a, a very easy install as a whole. So if you made it this far, hey, do us a favor, click that like, smash that subscribe. And hey, if you're looking for any custom built servers or spare parts, uh, we, we sell spare uh, memory upgrades, uh, SSD upgrades, CPUs, uh, RAID, Rails, uh, NIC cards, you name it. If you need a spare, definitely reach out to us. And if you need a custom built server, we custom build Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, New, Use. If you need AMD Ryzen's, AMD Epics, Intel Scalables, E3, E5s, everything in between. We try to do the entire life cycle and we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center's business or earn your home lab. Please email us at sales at cloudengines.com. That's sales at cloudengines.com. Thanks for stopping by. Take care.